Hooray, art with us. I invite you to join me on a captivating journey into the world of Edgar Degas through a book that holds a special place in my heart. This cherished volume, Degas's Drawings, was passed down to me by my grandfather, connecting me to the artistic genius of this renowned master. Edgar Degas, known for his mesmerizing portrayals of ballerinas and the enchanting world of dance, has captivated art enthusiasts for generations. In my research on the painter, however, I uncovered some surprisingly unsavory details about the artist that, to put it lightly, complicate my feelings. If you'd sooner preserve your admiration for Degas, I seriously advise you to turn away. Otherwise, be warned, the five facts I'm about to reveal will change the way you think of Edgar Degas, and it won't be for the better. Those ballerinas he's famous for painting? He referred to them as his little monkey girls. It turns out Degas was a bona fide misogynist. In a Vanity Fair feature, art historian John Richardson notes that Degas took pleasure in watching his models contort in agony, preferring to portray them as if looking through a keyhole under stress, their feet raw and bleeding. It goes without saying that this news sullies our romanticized experiences of ballet rehearsal and the dance class. It's true, Degas never married. As for why he was such a bachelor? Well, perhaps it had something to do with him equating women with racehorses. To drive the point home, Degas once said, I have perhaps too often considered woman as an animal. But wait, it gets worse. According to the Chicago Tribune, Degas's anti-Semitism resulted from the Dreyfus Affair, wherein a French military officer of Jewish descent was wrongfully accused of treason. France was divided and so were her artists. Degas, spurred by his family's entrepreneurial difficulties due to Jewish competitors, elected to adopt anti-Semitic sentiments. He was often described as an old curmudgeon, but writer George Moore tried to clear the air. In the 1918 issue of Burlington Magazine for Connoisseurs, Irish novelist George Moore disputed Degas's reputation as an old curmudgeon. Instead, Moore revealed that Degas presented himself as such to drive people away. As Degas allegedly explained to him, the artist must live apart and his private life remain unknown. Degas is remembered as one of the founders of Impressionism, and he probably would have hated it were he alive today. Contrary to popular belief, Degas would have sooner been regarded as an independent than as an Impressionist. The artist was fiercely protective of his style and initially refused to associate himself with other movements. It's worth mentioning that Degas's earliest ambition was to become a history painter. Thank you for embarking on this artistic journey with me. May our paths cross again in the realm of art, where love and creativity intertwine. Until then, take care, and may art continue to inspire us all.